For decades, scientists have been exploring the ocean to discover amazing creatures in it and even a glimpse of the past buried in the ocean. Some areas are incredibly deep and dark for humans to reach. But whatever man sets his mind to do will indeed be achieved. Scientists have developed many means to reach far deep and unreachable areas of the sea. The deepest of them is the Mariana Trench. Mariana Trench is in the western Pacific Ocean. It's named Mariana Trench because it's close to the Mariana Islands located on the southern side of the Philippines. The west-southwest of Hawaii, the northern side of New Guinea, and the south-southeastern side of Japan. It's currently the deepest oceanic trench known on Earth. It's shaped like a crescent with a depth of 10,984 meters, and its floor is named Challenger Deep. To understand how deep it is, if Mount Everest was placed into the Mariana Trench, the mountain peak would be underwater and there would still be over 2 kilometers of space before reaching the water's surface. Mariana Trench has an extreme environment of darkness, immense pressure, and a ton of animals with unbelievable features to have allowed them to adapt to these environments. The Mariana Trench remains one of the most mysterious places on Earth, and we learn more about it daily. The trench was first sounded during the Challenger Expedition in 1875 by lowering a weighted rope and reaching a depth of 8,184 meters. In 1899, another attempt was made by USS Nero with a record of 9,636 meters. Finally, a more precise and more effortless depth measurement called echo sounding was used in 1951. It was named Challenger 2 and it reached a record depth of 10,900 meters. Then they named the place Challenger Deep. In 1957, at a location named Mariana Hollow, a vessel by the Soviets named Vityats reached a depth of 11,034 meters. A precision depth gauge was used in 1962 by a surface ship called MV Spencer F. Baird with a record of 10,915 meters. Between 1997 and 2001, scientists from the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology discovered a place around Guam along the Mariana Trench that has a depth like that of Challenger Deep. November 10, 2020, after other descents reached a Chinese submersible, Fendaozhu reached a depth of 10,909 meters at the bottom of Mariana Trench. We're going to be diving into the top weirdest creatures found in the Mariana Trench, sea pigs. These animals are a genus of deep sea cucumbers, and they have enlarged tube feet that appear like little legs. They move through the top layer of sediment on the sea floor as they scavenge for their next meal by extracting organic particles from the deep sea mud. They like to live at depths of around 1 set 1,200 to 5,000 meters, about 3.11 miles or 3,937 to 16,404 feet, about twice the height of Mount St. Helens, about 5 kilometers and they have been seen to have a strong preference for rich organic food that has freshly fallen from the surface of the ocean. Sea pigs tend to measure somewhere around 4 to 6 inches, and they have their natural defense mechanism. Their skin contains a toxic chemical that is poisonous to other creatures, making it a dangerous meal to attend. Sea pigs are also known to host different parasitic invertebrates, but sometimes the relationship is commensal. Sometimes they like to provide shelter for juvenile crabs, which benefits the crab because it keeps them safe from predators by having a nice little homey shelter. Sea pigs are another creature designed specifically for the deep sea environment. Unfortunately, they disintegrate when brought up to the surface. Basket starfish. Basket starfish are a cousin of starfish, and when you see them, you can totally understand why they have that same main kind of desk that you see on a starfish. But rather than five short, stiff arms, they have five long, slender, flexible arms that all branch out from themselves repeatedly to form even more tiny little arms, with the last branch usually ending up curled. There's no real rhyme or reason for the shapes of basket starfish, as it just depends on how they grow. So, while some look beautiful and like webbing of lace, some look chaotic. Basket starfish can navigate around the sea floor by wiggling their arms around, they can also curl into a ball when feeling threatened by predators. They also prefer to eat krill, small crustaceans, and zooplankton. Spoonworm is usually seen with a non-retractable proboscis, an elongated appendage that comes off the head of the animal. They can roll into a spoon-like shape to feed, which is where their common name comes from. They are deposit feeders who like to eat the organic material off the sea floor, and different members of the spoonworm family can live at different temperatures. The football fish belongs to the anglerfish family, and it gets its name because it's shaped like a football. The females of this species are not only significantly larger than the males, but they are also the ones who carry the bioluminescent layer on their heads, which sways back and forth, waiting to lure an unsuspecting prey. 
Once the prey gets close enough, they will shoot out a bioluminescent liquid that will act to temporarily blind the prey so they can go ahead and swallow it whole. The female can grow to be around 24 inches, while the males don't grow any larger than 1.5 inches. Get ready to have your mind blown, because it's insane that a creature that looks like this exists on our Earth. We're talking about the barrel eye, also known as spookfish, which are a collection of fish that all feature exceptionally large telescoping eyes that protrude from the head, but are enclosed in an enormous transparent dome of soft tissue. These fish are small and are usually found motionless, just hanging out in their preferred depths of somewhere between 2,000 and 2,600 feet, about twice the height of the Empire State Building in the ocean. The discovery of this species first came in 1939, but it was not until recently in 2004 that someone was able to capture a photo of one so that the entire world could see this insanely interesting looking creature. But unfortunately, once taken out of their natural high-pressure environment, their fluid-filled heads cannot stand our environment up here, so it's better to let them be safe and sound in their open home. Zombie Worm These worms were first discovered in 2002 when they were living in the bones of a dead whale's carcass 10,000 feet, about 3.05 kilometers or 3,000 meters, about 1.86 miles deep in the ocean. The reason they have the name zombie worm is that their main food source is those same bones that they were first found living in. Zombie worms are happy to eat any kind of bone they come across, and they've been observed making a meal out of non-aquatic animal bones that somehow ended up in the deep sea. Dumbo Octopus They love to live in the deep sea at depths of at least 13,100 feet, which makes the Mariana Trench a perfect home for them. The Dumbo octopus is not just one species of a genus, and they are the group of deepest diving octopodes in the world, but they are also quite rare. These guys were named after the Disney movie Dumbo because they have ear-like fins that resemble Dumbo, the elephant. They are foraging predators who like to eat aquatic invertebrates that swim just above the sea floor, and they use their ear-like fins for swimming while they use their arms to steer. Unfortunately, despite how cute they are, like all animals, the Dumbo octopus has predators it has to look out for. Their predators include things like tunas, sharks, and dolphins. And since the Dumbo octopus lives so deep in the ocean, they are rarely ever accidentally captured in fishing nets. So human activities are not too much of a threat for them, which is always great news. Mariana Snailfish a fish that is found quite deep in the Mariana Trench in a range of 20,335 to 26,496 feet, about the height of Mount Everest. This was an important catch too, because it gave researchers a chance to look at and further their understanding of what anatomical, physical, molecular, and genetic adaptations are required for animals to make in their home in this extreme environment. Some of the adaptations seen in this fish are things like their transparent skin that lacks pigment, they have certain organs and eggs that are enlarged, their muscles are thinner, and it seems as though they have little or no ability to see, which makes a lot of sense considering how dark their habitat is. This obviously means they must hunt for their prey using other senses to detect any movement around them. So, what's your favorite creature from the Mariana Trench? Let us know in the comments below.